All right, I'm gonna go over with you how to do these assignments that are in um, dollars and cents or any of my other classes. Uh, these are grammar reviews. These are things like what's a sentence, what's not a sentence to kind of help you out with your writing and things like that. Uh, some of you seventh graders are gonna have a writing test that you have to take. Eighth graders, you're about to go to high school. They expect you to know how to write a complete sentence. So these are some things that are gonna help you out with that. We're gonna go right here to the fifth marking period. And in fifth marking period, there's a folder that says sentences, activities, and there will probably be another one next six weeks, but it may not say sentences, it may be something else. Currently, there are two assignments in there, but there are actually five, but three of them you can't see yet because I don't want you working ahead on those Right now, I want you to just get familiar with the process of how to do these assignments. And these first two are really, really easy. All right, uh, to access the assignment, you're gonna click right here. We're gonna start with sentences one. It says, download the attached document, type your answers into the form or use the highlighter as instructed. To save your document, uh, or save your document on your laptop with the changes that you make, Attach your document to this assignment to turn it in. After you download your document for editing, you can cancel the assignment instead of clicking submit. Or you can click save draft, but don't submit it if you're just closing out of this. Or you can actually just leave the window open while you wait to get your assignment done. You can open the assignment again when you're ready to attach your finished document if you close it. All right, so I'm gonna click right here on this document and I'm gonna download that. Now. Do not answer your questions in this window right here. Because if you do, it won't save them. It won't save your answers. So you're gonna have to come over here and click this download button. You're gonna click download right there. And um, we're gonna save it on our desktop so that you know where you can find it and I'm gonna do it like this for video so I know which one I'm using. I'm gonna save it on the desktop. You can even create a folder on your desktop if you want to by um, right here where it says new folder. You can click new folder and you can just call this your sentences activities if you want to. And then you can open that folder and save your file in there. All right, now you're going to minimize all of this. We're going to make all this go away. Now, in this folder, Sentences Activities is where I saved it, right? Everybody see it? You're going to right-click on that, and you are going to open with Adobe Acrobat. Just like that. Now, this is a pretty easy one. It's talking about what is a sentence and what is not a sentence. So, a sentence expresses a complete thought. For example, my father travels around the country. Is that a complete thought? Yes or no? Does it tell you something? Does it tell you who? Does it tell you what? Okay, so that's a complete thought. The airplane has landed. Does it tell you a what or a who? Tells you a what, right? What's the what? What did it do? Has landed. Okay, so that's a complete thought. That's a sentence. Now, there are some examples right here. The fun they had is a story. Does it tell you a who or a what? And does it tell you something about it? You don't see anything about it? How about is a story? Okay, so that's a complete thought, so it's a sentence. Written by Isaac Isimov. Is that a sentence or not a sentence? Not. not. What's missing? Okay, what book? What was written by him? Okay. It is about two students. Complete thought? It is about two students. Do we have a what? No. Okay, we do have a what. The what is it, right? Okay. Are you are you getting are you getting hung up on the word it? Okay. Yes, you're right. 
It, we don't know what it is, but we do have a what, and the what is it. It is about two students, so it is a sentence. Living in the year 2155. What are we missing there? The who or the what? Yeah. Okay, number five. Their teachers are machines in their homes. Is that a sentence or not a sentence? That's a sentence. Good. A complicated computer. Is that a complete thought? Or is it just a thing? It's just a thing. Okay, so that's not a sentence. All right. Anna has been telling Hakeem an amazing story. That's a sentence. Okay, here's what we're going to do now. I'm going to pause this. All right, we've answered all of the questions on here. Now we need to make sure that we save the answers. So what you're going to do is you're going to go right over here to File, Save As, because you maybe want to give it just a slightly different name. We're going to put it in our Sentences Activities folder. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this right here. And since we did this uh, using his account, I'm going to put his name on this. So what I would tell you to do is save this as Sentences Combined, PDF 1, or whatever it is, and then put your first name at the end of it. All right. And then we're going to click Save. Now, before, um, before we can turn it in, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close this. And what I want you to do is I want you to check it and make sure that it saved your answer. So I'm going to right click on this thing and I'm going to open with the same Adobe Acrobat DC. And look, it saved all of our answers. All right. If you do it the other way, if you try to do it on that browser, it will not save your answers. So you have to go through these steps. All right, so we've got that. Now I can go back to the Blackboard assignment right here. We kind of left it open. So we're going to browse the computer. We're going to click on that right there, and we're going to open it. And it attached it right here to this assignment. And since it's done and the answers are on it and all that good stuff is there, we're going to click Submit. And his assignment is turned in. All right, you have another one of those to do that's not due until Monday. I don't feel like you have to cram all this in today. I do want sentences one today because I want to make sure that you know how to do it. And in first period, it only took maybe five minutes for people to get that assignment done. It's not a long one, so it won't take time away from you drawing your doodle today. All right, so again, the steps were you go to the assignment, you click on the assignment. So this is, uh, the other one is talking about the different kinds of sentences, and it's pretty quick and easy too. And remember that you have to download it and we're going to save it in here in this folder that you create and then we go to the folder to open the file um, now if any of you have any problem whatsoever right okay let's right click on this we open with Adobe Acrobat DC there were a couple of people who were having an issue where when it opened up it was telling them that they had to sign in you shouldn't get a message like that. And if you are getting a message like that, I truthfully don't know how to fix that for you, so you need to take your laptop and see Miss Hindi during your advisory today if you're getting that message, because otherwise you're going to have a hard time completing these assignments. All right? Everybody got that? Are there any questions on how to do these? All right, let me stop this recording then and you guys can get